Hi, I'm going to show you how to add this volume envelope to your project in CapCut. I'm showing you specifically CapCut today, but you can do the same in lots of other apps using keyframes to fade your music in and out depending on your needs. So you can see here we have this project where we've got an interview at the start with somebody talking. So at this point, we want the music to be low. Um, at the moment, I've got it about minus 15 decibels. But then this point here, the interview stops and we just cut to some general B-roll. So at this point, we want the interview volume to increase. And that's what these keyframes are for. These four little diamonds are the keyframes that I've added to raise the level of the volume at this point in time. And then to bring it back down when the interview comes back on. So it lets you fade your music in and out rather than having the same volume all the way through. I'm going to show you how to do that now. This is what I started with the project with the music track at the bottom there imported and playing at zero decibels. Now you can control the volume in CapCut either down here in the timeline directly on the audio track or up on the panel on the left. Once you've got your audio track highlighted you have this audio panel to control it there. And this is just the basic settings. So I can use either the slider here to turn this down. Um, I'll go to minus 5.9 decibels at the moment, or I could use the clicker to turn it down. If you prefer, you can come down to the timeline and you can grab the white line there. Once your cursor is hovering over the white line, that's where the volume is. And you get the double arrow pointing up and down. You click on that and then you can raise or decrease the level. So for a backing track with an interview, I usually find something between minus 10, minus 20 is ideal. We'll put it to around minus 15 decibels. But as I said at the start, we want uh, don't want the same volume all the way through. We want to be able to raise the volume for this section here when the interview stops and we just have visuals. And that's where the keyframes come in. And you're going to add four keyframes for this. You're going to start with the white playhead here, that line down the middle of the, the timeline. Start with that just right at the end of the interview. So just when the person's kind of stopped speaking, they'll still be saying their last couple of words. Just to the point where the person is about to stop speaking. If I zoom it in a little bit on the timeline using the plus and the minus slider on the top right here. So you can move the playhead either just by using your cursor and dragging it within the timeline, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move frame by frame left or right. So roughly just right at the end of the interview there, when the white playhead is in the right position, come up to our audio window again, and beside the volume uh, where it says minus 15 decibels, we have this diamond, the keyframe diamond. When you hover your cursor on it, it says add keyframe, and you just click. And you'll notice now down in the timeline, we've added one keyframe, one little diamond shape. So now we want to drag the white playhead along to probably just when the interview finishes, because this is where it's going to be at full volume. So just where that sound wave finishes or just the start of the, the um, visual track. You can again drag or use your arrow keys to do that and then come back and add another keyframe up in this window. That's your second keyframe. Now drag the playhead to the end of the visual clip just before the speaking starts in the interview and add your third keyframe in the window on the right. And then again, drag it a few frames to the right to where the interview started. This is where you're going to fade back down to minus 15 and click on your keyframe. So you now have four keyframes. The first keyframe is going to be held at 15 minus 15 decibels. And in the last keyframe, the fourth one will come back to minus 15 decibels. But the second and the third keyframe there, we want to raise them up to full volume, zero decibels. You've got two choices. The simplest way, because you've added all the keyframes, is just to put your cursor in between keyframe two and three, click on the white line and drag it up. And you can see what happens now is we can come up here. Let's just come to maybe just three decibels and we have a, a fade in and then it holds a flat line along to the third keyframe and then fades out again. If you want to do any fine tuning, you can come up to the basic audio window here and 
you can use the backward and forward arrows to just navigate to the keyframe you want to change. So if we click um, back one, then that's us landed on the second keyframe and I want to make that exactly zero decibel so I can just fine tune it with the up and down arrows here. And then I can click forward one to get to the third keyframe and bring that down again to round about zero decibels to hold that line straight throughout. And there you go, that's the volume envelope tool that you can use in CapCut to fade your music in and out at different points along the timeline.